Welcome wilderness explorers. It's Miss G Sat and we're at the Carlsbad Caverns National Park in New Mexico. Carlsbad Caverns is a unique national park because the interesting sites are all underground, deep inside the earth. The park includes more than 119 underground caverns, but only a handful are accessible to the public. You will not see many roads in this area. It's mostly wilderness with hills and canyons. A long time ago, Native Americans lived near these caverns. In the 1800s, cowboys came to explore this area and raise cattle. Now, before we go any further, let's discuss the word desert. Some people think a desert is covered by lots of sand, but not all deserts have sand. Land can be covered by broken rocks and stones or even snow and still be considered a desert. There are four deserts in the United States. We are in the Chihuahuan Desert. If you've watched my Death Valley and Joshua Tree episodes, you know that those national parks are in the Mojave Desert. And Saguaro National Park and Organ Pipe National Monument are in the Sonoran Desert. The fourth desert in North America is the Great Basin Desert, which I haven't been to yet. A desert is any place that is very dry and hardly rains. Deserts are always dry, but they're not always hot. Antarctica is technically the Earth's largest desert. The largest hot desert on Earth is the Sahara, which covers most of North Africa. Do you know why we call this area a national park? National parks are protected places that are set aside to be preserved so that everyone now and in the future will be able to enjoy and learn from them. They do not belong to one person. They belong to everyone in the United States. Each park is unique and teaches us about either an important habitat, a historical event that took place there, or a history of the people who lived here long ago. The national park system includes monuments, battlefields, seashores, wetlands, scenic rivers, and urban parks. It's up to each one of us to do our part to preserve these wonderful parks, home to important animals, plants, and history. Before visiting a national park or any new place, I like to read books about where I'm going. You can get these from the library, or I've also put the links below to the books I'm sharing. Let's go over some special books that I've picked out to prepare you for a visit to Carlsbad Caverns. All right, the first two books I picked out have to do specifically with Carlsbad Caverns. One is called Carlsbad Caverns National Park, a true book. The second one is Carlsbad Caverns National Park, both of these have a little bit of text and great pictures. So these are wonderful for elementary school age as well as younger. Then I have two books about caves in general. This is Smart Words Reader Caves and One Small Square Cave. And these talk about caves in general. And then, since you're visiting Carlsbad Cavern, you need to learn about one of its inhabitants, the bat. So there's a life cycle of a bat. Now, let's go to the visitor center so we can grab a park map and a junior ranger booklet. You want to stop in at the visitor center to grab a park map, gather information about the park and its programs, and look at the exhibits. And don't forget, you'll want to grab a junior ranger booklet. The Junior Ranger Program is a very educational program that teaches children and their parents all about the animals, plants, and history of the park. It also teaches children how they can take care of the park and teach others to do the same. Junior Rangers are very special because they promise to take care of our national parks. It's up to each one of us to do our part to save and preserve these wonderful parks, home to important animals, plants, and history. It's my favorite thing to do at Beach National Park. Be sure to have your hat, canteen full of water, sunscreen, along with your Junior Ranger booklet, and park map before heading out to explore. You may also want a light jacket since the cave stays at about 56 degrees Fahrenheit year round. If you want to go into the caves, you will need to make an advance reservation. It's a short walk to the natural entrance to the Carlsbad Cavern. This is the natural entrance walkway. It gets cold enough to snow here in the Chihuahuan Desert in the winter. In the spring, you'll find lots of wind and storms. 
most people like to visit the caves in the summer when the weather's hot and dry, which is what we're doing. Whatever the temperature is outside, inside the caverns, the temperature does not change. It's always cool and it's about 56 degrees. The natural entrance is a large hole that leads to a steep winding trail down to the bottom. The trail is about a mile and a quarter long. If you don't wanna hike the trail to the natural entrance, you may also use the elevator, but we're gonna hike the natural entrance trail. The caverns vary in sizes. Some are tiny while others are huge. There's always water dripping into the cavern. The drips leave minerals behind. These minerals pile up after millions of years, leaving these strange formations for us to enjoy. You'll see formations called Witch's Finger, Iceberg Rock, Boneyard and Ice Cream Cone. Let's see if you can pick out which is which. The natural entrance tour is about a mile. Where that tour ends, the King's Palace Ranger guided tour begins and is also a mile long. The third tour you can take is the big room. The big room tour is mostly level and most of it is wheelchair accessible as well. If you have lots of energy, you can hike all three caverns in a day. Let's go inside and explore. It will be hard to film because it's so dark. So if the video is too dark, I'll put up some photos for you to look at. Now, before we go on, there is an audio tour that you can take. Um, it's only $5 to rent this. That'll explain more once you're in the cavern. And don't forget to bring your Junior Ranger booklet. Um, they also have one for younger children and they also have a Senior Ranger. So I'm gonna do a Senior Ranger. I'm not a senior, but anyone over 18 can do this Senior Ranger booklet and get sworn in. Let's go. drippy looking rocks. The formations that you see hanging from the ceiling are called stalactites. They look like hanging icicles, don't they? The formations that start on the ground of the cave are called stalagmites. These look like chubby fingers coming up from the floor of the cave. Can you repeat after me? Stalactites and stalagmites. One way to remember which is which is by thinking about the formations coming from the ground. G for ground so those are the stalagmites. The ones coming from the ceiling, C is for ceiling, so those are stalactites. You can hear the k in stalactites and the g in the word stalagmites. When a stalactite from above meets a stalagmite from below, they join and form a column. Be sure not to touch any of the formations in the cave Touching them can cause stains and hurt the formations. After you come back up from seeing the caves, you can explore all the desert plants that live here. Remember, Carlsbad Caverns is in the Chihuahuan Desert. You will find agave, cactus, acatillo, pinyon pine trees, and thorn bushes. You will also find animals that live above ground at Carlsbad Cavern, like mule deer, coyotes, mountain lions, rabbits, raccoons, vultures, and rattlesnakes. Did you know that some animals live in the caves? Cave crickets are able to move around in the darkness using their antennae. Cave swallows make their nests in the cavern. From spring to winter, Mexican free-tailed bats, sometimes called Brazilian free-tailed bats, migrate to Carlsbad Caverns from Mexico. In the winter, they fly back down to Mexico as there is no food for them to eat when the insects die because of the frost. Mexico provides a warm home and lots of insects. During the summer months, people sit outside of the bat cave to see the bats. The bats sleep all day and come out at night. Do you remember what that is called? Animals that come out at night are called nocturnal. The park is famous for the bat flight, which is when the bats fly out of the cave at once. A park ranger gives a bat talk at the cave entrance where you can learn more about these interesting mammals. In the morning, the bats all fly back inside once again. Did you know bats are the only mammal that can fly? Bats are mammals with wings. They have a backbone, hair on their bodies, and their babies drink milk from their mom's body. Bats are warm-blooded animals. 
Warm-blooded means that your body temperature stays about the same, whether you're in a cold or hot place. We humans are also warm-blooded. As I mentioned, the bats are nocturnal and sleep all day in the cave and then come out at night to eat. There are two kinds of bats, insect-eating bats and fruit bats. Most bats eat insects. These bats tend to have small bodies. Fruit-eating bats are larger and mostly eat fruit. The bats at Carlsbad Caverns eat millions of moths, mosquitoes, and other flying insects every night. Did you know bats use the echoes of high-pitched sounds to locate insects in the dark? This technique is called echolocation. The sound from the bat's chirp bounces back, making an echo. Bats have large ears that hear the echoes and can tell how far away an object is, what it is, and how fast it's moving. This helps the bats find insects to eat. Additionally, echolocation helps keep bats from crashing into things like trees and people. Dolphins and whales also use echolocation in their ocean habitat. Do you know why bats hang upside down? Well, perching upside down allows them to take off quickly when they need to fly. Bats are found on every continent except Antarctica. Not all bats live in caves. Different species of bats can be found in forests, deserts, and cities. I hope that you enjoyed going on this little adventure with me at Carlsbad Caverns. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss another adventure with me at the national parks. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.